Greetings, everyone. I wanted to fill you in on some changes to our remote learning called the Engagement Check. Starting April 27th, the Engagement Checks are going to be posted weekly in Infinite Campus. What that means is that every week, every teacher is going to be posting whether you engaged in their activities to the level they expected. Sadly, what I've been experiencing is that a lot of students are checking in and looking at the material, but very few students are actually engaging in the material. And this engagement check is an attempt by the administrative team and many of your parents to get to provide you some feedback and them some feedback so we can know whether you're engaging in the online learning. For students in APCSA, you still have a big exam on Friday, May 15th at 3.30. You're going to need to solve two free response questions in 45 minutes, and you're going to need to practice doing that. So I've prepared a bunch of free response questions that are already in Google Classroom, and I'll be preparing more. If you complete the next two sets of free response questions, I am going to send you a free prize in the snail mail, a study sheet that's going to be useful for you to use and have out when you take your APCSA exam. So get those uh, next two units finished up so that you can earn your prize. For those of you who are in APCSP, you are really lucky. Your exam has been canceled, but you still need to complete your Explore Performance task, which we were almost done with. The first check, I'm going to make sure, uh, again, I'm going to be doing those surveys. I'm going to make sure you actually have it done. After that, the week after, I'm going to ask that you actually have your sub task submitted to the AP. Directions for all of that are in Google Classroom. Feel free to check those out. When, once you've submitted to the AP, um, you, you have completed that section. I'm going to steer you towards the activity board and, and some really cool um, uh, independent learning pathways I've set up that uh, in the intro class is already using. Um, and I'll be able to check too to make sure you've completed your AP CSP Explore Performance Task because the AP uh, sends me that information. I can look it up. For people who are in intro to programming and app creators, um, I, the first check is just going to be to make sure that you complete an engagement survey. Tell me what pathway you're on and tell me why you picked that pathway and then I'm going to double check that you've actually logged into a pathway. There have been a few of you who have actually done that. However, most of you have not done that yet. Um, so I'm going to ask you to do that to, for your engagement check for the first week. And then the second through the end of the year, I'm going to be sending out weekly engagement surveys. I'm going to ask you to complete, fill in, and then I'm going to look to see if um, you're making progress and I'll indicate uh, your progress on your courses will determine whether I give you credit for the engagement check or not. These remote learning activities are really, really cool. Um, I've, I've been able to uh, secure $130 for each of you of free online content thanks to the generosity of the computer science community. This content is really amazing. Everything from Code HS and courses in Python, VR gaming, app design, just awesome stuff. PopFizz has a bunch of really cool um, Python stuff and turtle graphics stuff. Udemy is just packed with things, but it does require a little more computer power. Coder Z is amazing. The AP students, I bet, all feel really bad for the intro to programming students this year. They don't get the Lego Mindstorms unit and they don't get to play with drones like all of you did because unfortunately COVID-19. But Coder Z is pretty darn cool. You get to drive robots virtually um, and, and do these challenges and use block and Python code to do it. It's, it's pretty cool and really amazing. We were able to get free licenses to uh, code combat in those area. Those are really fun um, coding platforms. Um, some students have really gone far with that and really enjoy those and give those great reviews. So feel free to check those out as well. They're, they're a lot of fun. The most common question we expect people to ask is, is this graded? Do I have to do it? Well, here's the bottom line. It's remote learning during a national crisis, during this national COVID-19 crisis. No, it's not going to be graded. You are being graded whether you met the standards up to the end of the, that March 13th date. And that, that's going to be your grade. AP students, you're getting an AP score based on finishing the exam. Um, and, and what your score is on the exam. Uh, 
you're right, it's not going to impact your grade. But I am going to mark um, whether you were engaged or not. And some of your parents are checking that. And some of you have all kinds of other things going on and, and being engaged in online learning. Uh, is, is just not something you're able to do right now, and um, it's, it's not going to impact your grade. But I do really want to encourage those of you who have the time and the ability to do these activities, to really engage in them and, and really take advantage of this time to really improve your skills in computer science. This $130 of curated, really impressive activities that really give you a chance to learn some really fun stuff, uh, and, and really cool stuff in a fun way. So I really encourage you to do that and take advantage of those opportunities. Good luck, everyone. I, I really miss you all. And uh, thank you.